Well, I'm sure there's going to be like a big uh, debate at the end of the life anyway, you know, weighing up the balances, lika, this way, that way, oh, what should you do? The, the truth is that um, if you are going to come back as a human being, then you didn't do so bad. But if in terms of options, isn't it? There's the option of getting out of the life cycle, best option. Or even, some people get out of that life cycle while they're still alive. They get Jeevan Mukti. They know they're mukt while they're alive. The rest of us have to go and wait to the <coughs> final day of judgment where we get find out if not. Um, if we come back as a human being, then we didn't so do so bad because we get a chance to the human life again. But if we don't get a chance to the human life, then it's, there's, eight, there's still 8.4 million life forms, isn't it? And out of that, the human life is one. So the human life is very rare indeed. More rare than the lottery. So, in a way, the message from this for you guys and for me is this. We already did something good in the past life. We already were lucky enough to get the human life. So let's make it count. Yeah? Let's not ruin this chance that we have earned after such a long wait. Yeah? Reincarnation, some people think, oh, it means don't worry about it, chill out in your next life. No. If you factor in all, not human life, but all the life forms, then the human life is extremely precious. Yeah? And we can't just mess up in this life and say, oh, I'll do it in my next life. If we mess up in this life, the best thing to do is to sort the mess out in this life. And it's not so hard, the good news is. Yeah? It's not so hard to sort the mess out. All we've got to do yeah, is actually say, uh, and change what we do and start saying God's name. Yeah? Guru Maharaj says, imagine you had a, a pile of straw, yeah? mountain of straw. He says, that's how many sins I have, mountain of dirty straw and grass. Yeah? Because imagine if that straw was dry and I put a little spark to it, a little spark. The whole thing would burn down, wouldn't it? With just one spark, that's the power of Naam. Naam is that powerful, it can burn down the entire pile of sin. That's why we always say, you know, like, Naam is so important. Yeah. The only way to get there is through Naam. So we, we must, all of us, if we can, say Wahiguru. Yeah. And call upon Him. As we call His name, the most powerful thing there is in the world, we can maybe get the chance to experience Him. As we experience Him, it washes away our sins. The experience of God itself washes away your sins. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So if we've messed up, Let's now not mess up. You know in Bani it says, Pichle Avgana Bakshide. Pichle is previous, yeah? Brother Aage Marag Bhave. Oh Wai Guru, forgive my previous sins and put me on the path forwards. And there's a story, you know this, this Hukam Nama, there was a girl who was a heroin addict or cocaine addict. She wanted to, she was an addict, drug addict. And she'd failed many times to get ourselves clear of drugs. And she'd done many, many bad things, I'm sure, in her drug habit. And she came to one of the camps, and she goes, I don't believe in all this, I can't do it, I'm too bad. I'm too bad for my Guru to forgive me. And they said, okay, let's take a hukum nama from Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Is it possible that Guru Ji can forgive me? And her question was, is it possible that you can forgive me and put me on the right path? Is it possible? And this is the hukum nama that came up. Pishle avguna bakhde, prab aage marag pave. Because I will forgive your previous sins and put you on the path forwards. The Guru Granth Sahib Ji is that powerful. That girl there got that Hukum Lama. It was like there on the spot. Yeah. And the thing is, is you got to remember, if, if a murderer, Sajjan Tug, was a murderer and a robber, yeah, and in one minute Maharaj made him into a holy man. We don't hear about Sajjan Bhagat. Actually, he became Sajjan Pagat afterwards. He was Sajjan Tag before Guruji. Yeah? And you heard about the other, you know, you've heard the story of Sajjan Tag, right? He used to kill people, rob them, put them in the well, in his palace. And he used to be a rich guy. He had two, he had a mosque and a mandir on both sides of the road. And anybody that came that was rich, he would put them up in there. He would poison their food, slit their throats and chuck them down the well. And he would make his money that way. 
and then Guru Nanak Ji turns up to his house. He tries to rob Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj. But Guru Maharaj doesn't eat any of the poison. Yeah, doesn't drink anything. Then they, with their words, they destroy him. They start singing Bani, which talks about sajjan. They use the word sajjan in their Bani. And they say, this is not a sajjan. He goes, he's like bronze. You know when you see bronze? If you rub bronze a little bit, it goes black. You put all the polish, you can put all the brass you want on top of bronze, make it shiny. The minute you touch it with your hand and rub it, it'll go black again. And Mara says, look at this. Ujjal keha chirkana. Yeah? Kotim kaladi mas. They go, it's very ujjal, this keha, this bronze is very shiny. Sajjan is very shiny, very white kapade, looking very pure. If you rub him, he's black inside. Kaladi mas hai it's black inside. You can't get rid of it. Yeah? So, in the same way, yeah, when you look at um, ourselves, the only way for us to get purified and the only way for us to actually walk on the Guru's path is to accept that we are sinners, we make mistakes, yeah, and then fall at Guru's feet, say, Maharaj, you Kirpa Karo. Sikhi is definitely about Guru Prasad. It's not about my Prasad, it's not about your Prasad, it's not about how well you do, it's about how much you lower yourself to Guru. Yeah? Not about how great you are, it's about how low you are. Opposite of the world. The world will say, oh, he's bored, great, yeah. yeah. But great hon lord ni, ni, ni wa hon lord hai Yeah? Aapas ko jo pala ka hawe, te se pala hai nikat na hawe. Goodness doesn't come near somebody who calls themselves good. So if you say, I'm a good person, and then you get people saying, I'm not religious, but I'm a good person. Problem there. <laughs> Straight away he said, I'm a good person. Whereas what you should be saying in Sikhi would be, Aapas ko jo pala ka hawe te se pala hai nikat na hawe. The Mara says, Aapas ko jo jane nicha, so ganiye sab te ucha. Who he sees himself as the lowest of the low, that's the highest of the high. So if you go to somebody, are you a good person? They go, no man, I'm the worst person. Bhai Gudashi says, I'm the murderer of murderers. He goes, there's no one as bad a bad person as me in the whole world. Ham jaisa apraddi. There is no one as bad as much of a sinner as me. So there's no point calling ourselves good, just call ourselves bad. And then it said, Guru Sattu Si Kirpa So this question comes from the point of view where somebody thinks that, you know, it's too late now. But it's not too late. In your next life, however, if you were to talk about technicalities, your next religion, if you're blessed, you come back as a Sikh. That's what I believe. And he, okay, I'm biased, but I believe that every Sikh has won the lottery twice. The first lottery they won was a human life. The second one is being born into the house of Gunan Because not many religions believe in Nam. I'll give you an example. Ask any Christian out there, what does name mean? You say, oh, blessed is your name, hallowed be thy name. They don't know what Nam is. They don't know that you can experience God a lot of them. You know, they believe in God, they don't experience God. They don't know about this Sundar so much. Some of them know about this stuff, but most of them don't. Muslims become a fear faith, less about love. Yeah? <coughs> Catholic used to be about love, now it's about fear and guilt. Yeah? And the whole world, Manas, I've seen the whole world. Kur Kriya. Yeah? The whole world is, in, is stuck in the wrong thing. Urjiyo Sabhi Jag. Kur Kriya Urjiyo Sabhi Jag. Sri Bhagavan ko ped na payo. And Sreya Mara says, the whole world is lost in Kur Kriya. Kur is falsehood, Kriya means actions. Whole world is stuck in false actions. No one has figured out the secret of God. Which is, He's here. All you got to do is call Him. What an amazing secret, in it? So simple, but hard to get our heads around. So, if we're lucky, we come back as a Sikh.